he might be just a little funky looking. Like I was saying earlier, he might be a little rounded, but that's okay because it's going to hold him on there, which is what we want to do. So next, we'll just come right back up to here. And our spring is going to be in that funny position, but that's okay. We're going to fix that. You're just going to kind of push the spring back up and then you'll grab on that cable piece and just go ahead and set him in there like so. And there we go. We've got our new shoe back on there and we'll go ahead and he's going to twist and we'll lift him up and get both our shoes back in place. All right, guys. Now, the first thing we'll start off with here is getting our shoe back on and he's going to just kind of dangle like that. So what we're going to need to do is we'll go ahead and kind of twist him around like that because a lot of times he'll just be hanging like that. So twist and then pull up and we're going to take our good pin set in here and stick him through and get our hole down spring in. But first I'm going to get a better angle on so you can see better what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So like I was saying, we're just going to kind of bring this guy up here right here and we've got this pin. So we're just going to want to hold him and just go ahead and stick him through that hole you saw me stick him through. And I'll go ahead and grab one of my springs here. You're gonna first wanna take that metal clip and make sure there's nothing on it. I'm gonna set him in there like so, like that. And then I'll just hold him while I'm holding the pin in the back, the back and plate there all the while. And then I'm just gonna set this little guy up right like so. I'm gonna try and line him up so I can get him in there the first time around. And I'll grab my tool here. Just kind of reach in there and then all right guys and there we go so I just kind of moved them in such a way where I could get them to the line up there and now you can see we got them all nice and even there and that's how you go ahead and put that hold down spring in next we'll work on getting our other shoe and some of the springs in all right so next what we'll do as an attempt to try and make things a little bit easier is I'm gonna go ahead and start out at the bottom, making sure you can see me there. And we're gonna go ahead and get this guy in. And it's gonna kinda help us get stuff back together a little bit easier so it's one less spring to have to try and fight with. So I'm gonna hold this kinda like that. And then I'm just gonna make sure everything's looking nice and even there. And we'll go ahead and set up our little thing here. And that guy up and then I'm gonna grab my tool and try and line them up as best I can and I'm gonna grab my guy right here and then I do have to be in your way for just a second so I can kind of just see what I'm doing here so you're gonna line it up and twist and I missed it so line it up Ooh. and there we go I got it so just want to turn them a little bit more right like that now we got both our shoes setting in and the next fun part is getting that star wheel and those two springs in all right guys and one quick little thing i want to add here it's not a bad idea to go ahead and unscrew this guy all the way out and just take a rag i'm sorry i'm trying to do this with one hand here but take a rag and just kind of wipe them off there nice and clean so when it's working it'll be working smoothly and it's not going to get all hung up there all right so i'm going to go ahead and get the star wheel adjuster back in here this is the self adjuster and you're gonna do it like you're seeing me do it right here and those pictures were helpful I just took a look at the pictures and you're gonna want to run this guy all the way back in almost so it just kind of makes things a little bit easier although you do want this guy to just kind of set in there freely so you don't have to do it as loose as I did it and next what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get this spring sitting down in here and we're going to hook on well let me check my picture first, but I think it's going to hook on somewhere here, but I'll check the picture and get back to you. So, now that I've consulted my picture, I know, so picture's a good thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and he's going to set right down in there. I'm going to grab the dikes, and this is a fun thing to do here. And when I say fun, you know I really mean tough and not fun at all. So, we're going to grab here, and the idea is we're going to reach him right in there. And this is probably going to be the toughest part of the job. So you just want to make sure you got a good grip and the dikes will not cut the spring. Contrary to common belief, lots of people seem to think it's going to do that, but it's not. And that's what I was afraid of there too, is that kind of falling out. So we're just going to want to make sure he doesn't fall out. And we're also going to be fighting against the wheel cylinder, the pistons here. So 
you want to make sure you don't push the pistons out so you're going to kind of want to hold all at the same time so it's not a fun job it's quite a task so there we go well, I'm almost got them in there there we go so that was fun spring number one now fun spring number two is also going to be fun and I'm going to go ahead and expand this out a little bit so it's not as loose we want to fit in there a little bit tightly so because we're going to be going the spring from here to this piece right here so we just want to make sure this is nice and secure all right and i've got this piece in there he's nice and well sitting in there now so the next thing we're going to do is get this piece fit in here and he's going to fit in such a way it's going to look like this so he's going to reach around and hold on to that stud guy so once we've got him in there sitting just like that we're gonna grab our other spring and this is going to be fun so what you're gonna have to do is stick your spring in there like that and the idea is you stick it in the hole and then flatten it and it's gonna hold so I'm just gonna stick them in like so and then the fun begins again with trying to get this guy on here so just gonna grab our dikes and then I'm gonna hold the shoe with this side while I pry with with everything I have <laughs> and oh check that out that wasn't even that tough so the toughest one's gonna be that one right there and that's getting all our springs back in that's uh, pretty much the toughest part of the job there is getting those shoes back on now we're gonna get our drum back on and talk about adjusting the drum to the right adjustment right where it needs to be as far as how tight the rear shoe brakes need to be all right guys and there's one thing I want to talk about real quick there is a time to replace your drum and the time would be if you measure there's a tool that will measure from in here to in here and I don't have that tool because drums they're not really nearly as important as your front brakes so I kind of just replace the drum if I can tell it hasn't been replaced in a really really long time that's when I do it but if you do want to go and get that tool what you can do is you'll find your maximum diameter number for this one it would be let's see 296.5 millimeters so if it exceeds 296.5 millimeters when you measure it from here to here then that's when you'd want to replace the drum but your your front brakes just do so much of the stuff and that's why I don't emphasize on that quite as much as I do with the front brakes if you see my front brakes videos so we're just gonna go ahead this one looks not too bad so we're just gonna go ahead and put this drum back on and I'll go ahead and show you that here in just a second all right and here i am i've got the drum we're going to put them on here and i kind of cheated a little bit because these are the old shoes and i counted the threads before i took them off so in case this was the situation is a uh, eight threads so i'm gonna put this on and you'll want to kind of back that adjuster all the way in make it as loose as possible because with the new shoes it's going to be about as tight as it's ever going to be and to get this drum back on we're just gonna kind of work them back on here like so and just like that we're just gonna work him back on there and we've got him on there it feels like he's a little loose but it's really gonna be tough to kind of try and figure out the exact amount of tightness you want this to be because it is hooked up to the differential so we got axles hooked up to it so so long as you can hear it kind of scrubbing you want to hear that scrubbing so you know the shoes are in contact with this piece right here and basically the drum brakes will align themselves let's put that star in that funny looking clip piece that was like that that's what they're for they adjust the shoes but you do want it semi adjusted you don't want to set them on there as loose as they can be because it's going to take forever for them to adjust so just so long as you can hear it like that and go ahead and just tighten it up and as long as it kind of it's kind of difficult putting on you're good to go really because if it if it just slides right on there that means it's going to be loose so next we'll go ahead and put the wheel and lug nuts back on all right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and put your wheel back on and your lug nuts in. My guess is you guys aren't using torque specs and or you're probably not using a torque wrench to do this. So I don't really know the torque specs to put on these lug nuts, but when I was taking it off, 
if they were torqued last time, I can definitely tell it was above 85 foot pounds. So if you did want to torque them on there, I'd say maybe 85 to 100 foot pounds to put them on. But they came off good and tight, so that's how I'm going to take them off. I'm going to good and tight them back on there. So. Alright guys, and once you've got all your lug nuts run down, just go ahead and kind of begin to tighten them up. And what I did was I went ahead and applied the e-brake so I could tighten them up all the way while it's still off the ground. And you're going to want to use the crisscross pattern. So I just went there. Next I'm going to go here. Next I'm going to go here. And here and so on. So we're going to make sure that the wheel is tightened properly and evenly. So. We don't have any problems there. And then next, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure each one is tightened all the way. And I'm not doing a whole lot of tightening here, so it doesn't matter if it's crisscross. We did that major tightening in the crisscross pattern, and that's what matters. So, all right, once you've got them all tightened down, we're going to go ahead and, of course, don't forget your, your pretty little cap here, your small sort of hook cap. So, I'm just going to stick him back in there and We'll just click back in like that and we got a whole bunch of sand out here so just gonna wipe the sand off make it look all pretty so that's pretty much it for today's project of course don't forget to let the vehicle down and take the jack stands out before you do that and i thank y'all for watching and i'll see you next time Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch all my new videos which publish Mondays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 11 a.m. Central Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time and I will see you then.